and I supported their talk. Say the person when when the judge make that noise, white man court will no no. When independent go come, freedom go come. We get lease. When they call your name, don't pass you no come for Grazero, don't pass you go fire place, you know. Now least that boy go call him. Now least Grazero go call. So no she don't hear my boys. I'm the president. I'm this. They go call list. Are you sure your name will be on that list? Unachi said that boy didn't fight for that day before. They don't fully show. Tell me what they are no sure. Say my name go there for the list. Are you sure your own go there? You sure? Do the right thing. May your name add police. Do the right thing. May your name add police. If they call your name, say you no go pass. You go remain. Today is the 4th of September, 2020. And I come to you at a time when our nation is readying itself for the celebration of yet another Independence Day. On behalf of the Vice President of our nation, Comrade Daphne Yerima, on behalf of our President, the revolutionary leader of the Amazonian struggle, President Sisiko Ayok Tabe, on behalf of the interim government, the cabinet, our people on ground zero in the diaspora, on behalf of the good leadership of this struggle, I salute you. I thank you for your courage, for your determination. I thank you for your resilience. It has been four years, four years of our resistance, four years of us putting our legs on the ground and asserting who we are, four years of us refusing to be defined by anybody, not the Republic, not their international partners, four years of standing as one man with one focus, the freedom of our people and the return of dignity to our dear people. My dear Amazonians, I address you today as an emergency following the unfortunate situation that we have on the ground. 
In the last few days and weeks, we have watched in shock how the Cameroon political authorities have now taken the war to the civilian population of the people of the Southern Cameroons. We have watched how village after village, quarter after quarter, and now city after city are being attacked by the vicious dogs of the occupier French Cameroon. My dear people, just last week, we were all in prayers when we heard that the vicious military of French Cameroon left their barracks into our different communities to shoot and kill. And to a people who were lucky, they got arrested, tortured, dehumanized, and those who were lucky were taken to jail. So in the hell called Cameroon, being locked these days is a privilege. Indeed, it is a privilege as the soldiers take pride in killing ordinary people. My dear people, we have not forgotten of the pain in the southern zone by our people in, in, in Ikata, our people in Moyoka and the neighboring environments. We've not forgotten how young men go into the farm and are brutally slaughtered with large public bullets, dragged on the streets, shot again, even their own dead bodies, as if to say, we have guns and we've got power. My dear people, we've not forgotten how La Republic has continued its assault on certain sectors of our economy. Again, the Southern Zone suffered dearly this time around when a preacher, a pastor, a man of God was humiliated in front of his own worshippers arrested by the French Cameroon military. And in just a few days, all we could see was the lifeless body of this brother, this comrade, this man of God, this fellow patriot, whose only crime was standing up to talk for the voiceless masses of our people. We will prevail. Many countries have suffered the fate we're going through now. Namibia did, Nigeria did, Kenya did, Zimbabwe did, South Africa did, Rwanda did. But today, they are a free people. Their destiny is in their hands. Some of these countries that decided not only to take their political liberty, but their economic liberty as well, they define the future of their country. They dictate the terms, and they decide who gets what, who rules them. They make the policies on education, on health, and you name the rest. My dear people, we watch in complete shock how this week, precisely on the 1st of October, under the instructions of the political class in Yaoundé, colonial military forces of La Republic of Cameroon marched into the commercial centre of the historic town of Bamenda. In the town, in the afternoon, while the ordinary masses of our people went about doing their business. It was one message, one clear message from La Republic de Cameroon. You guys must fight together because you are all enemies. We will traumatize you. We will torture you. We will kill you. We'll drive you away from your marketplaces. We will drive you away from your homes. We will drive you away from your cities. We will drive you away from your country. 
It happened in Manu. It happened in Kumba. And this time is the turn of Amenda. We saw how in broad daylight, the Cameroon military from Anaris pumped almost 5,000 bullets as they approached the population concentration center. Our dear people had no choice. They abandoned their shops unlocked, abandoned their sales stands unlocked. They didn't even have, you know, a little bit of time to pack. I mean, who would try to pack anything when you have a choice between life and death? My dear people, dear people of the world, dear good conscience people of the world, you saw the videos that were circulated on social media. I cannot stop hearing the cry, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, while mothers and children, little girls were panting and running away with young men. The images of our people taking cover behind houses, lying flat on the floor with their stomachs, with their faces covered on the ground, with one prayer, please may the Cameroon military not discover we are here because we are dead. These images cannot leave my mind. They cannot leave your mind. They cannot leave the mind of the good conscience of the world. My dear people, I cannot forget the image of the mother. It's a historic image, a scary and a painful image. The mother who loved her marketplace and found herself diving onto the floor with her son. And all the mother to think of in my mind as we speak is, even if you take my life, please don't take the life of my son. I can see this woman covering the son and this poor little boy, probably four or five or maximum six years old, covering the face of the ground. The, the, the sound of the shattering bullets from La Republic guns unprovoked were just so scary. This is what our people are going through every day. I have seen videos of fellow Southern Cameroonians in their houses and in their offices who became citizen journalists. They took their phones and all you could hear is, Mama Mie, Mama Mie, we don't die today, oh. When I see, when I see, when I see how they pass, see how they shoot, see how they kill that one, see how they kill, kill that one. My God, what have our people done to these people? What have the people of the Southern Cameroons done to the French occupier? Number one, we were forced to get into a plebiscite. We were forced to get into an unholy union with you. We were forced into an illegal federation of two states equal in status. The events of the last few days, weeks, and years tell us that von Goji Dinka was right when he stood up and declared that the Republic of Ambazonia was born after Mr. Paul Bier unilaterally broke the illegal union that existed between our two countries. The events of now tell us that the Southern Cameroon's National Congress, the SCNC, was right when they stood up and said, having given Paul Bia the last chance in AAC 1 and AAC 2, the people of the Southern Cameroons have no choice but to take their destiny into their own hands. The SCYL, the AGC, Capo and all the other formations you know were right. My dear people, I come here to tell you 
that if he ever doubted our resolve as a people to end almost six decades of impunity, you must know that there is no reason to doubt. If you ever wondered why our lawyers, our teachers, rose up like one man and said, we will not take it any longer, if you ever, ever doubted, look at what happened in the last few days. That is your answer. We were right. If you ever doubted why millions and millions of Ambazonia in all quarters, villages, and towns on our streets on the 22nd of September 2017 took to the streets to confirm that the restoration that was eminent for the 1st of October was indeed the right thing to do. This is the moment. If you ever doubted when Pata Sang, after consulting with the different leadership of the struggle, declared that we have officially divorced French Cameroon and have nothing to do with these barbarians, you must know he was right. If you ever doubted why on the 1st of October 2017, the one man the good Lord prepared for us, given his foresight, his focus, given his great leadership skills, given his vision, Comrade Sisiko Ayoktabe, leader of our revolution, if you ever doubted why, as the voice of our people, he declared the restoration of our statehood by implication, officially restoring the nation of Ambazonia, officially recognizing us as a people different from our occupiers, officially giving us a right to take our national identity, to defend our territory, to defend our people, to defend our hopes and our future, you, you must know that as the voice of our people, not his voice, but the voice of our people, he was right. The people of the Southern Cameroon are angry. We are so, so, so angry. But I thank God that we have not ended on anger. We have not ended on anger. We are taking action on a daily basis. And I'm proud to tell our people, and I'm proud to tell the world that we are an undefeated people. We can never be defeated. La Republic has tried and now knows that the two cubes of sugar would never melt. Dear people, when we joined our forebearers, I am not sure when you joined this struggle, but when we as a collective, our people on ground zero, whom I salute, especially the ordinary masses of our people, buy and sellers, market men and women, bike riders, farmers, teachers, nurses, workers, our people on Ground Zero whose positions currently do not allow them to take the forefront for the liberation of our nation, but who in the cover of the dark give us lines on exactly what the Republic is doing and what we must do. Who in the cover of the night make the necessary contributions to ensure that our liberation is real. Our people whose houses have been burnt, mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters, whose relatives have been slaughtered by the brutal occupier. Our dear people who are now IDPs, 
either in bushes or in neighboring La Republic Ground 2. Our fellow people were economic refugees on Ground 2, waiting for economic life to come back so they can come back home and rebuild our nation. Our dear people who were kidnapped, arrested, locked up on trumped up charges, tortured like animals, they continue to receive torture on a daily basis, who have been refused justice, who do not know where the next cup of water or meal will come from. Our people in the refugee camps in Nigeria, in Ghana, and other neighboring countries, People who used to live like kings and queens, who got up in the morning and went to work in their marketplaces, who fed themselves and fed their families, who are now refugees and beggars, depending on you and myself in the diaspora, and those on the ground who are blessed, like the IAIA Foundation, to give them food and water, the leadership of our revolution. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your resistance, for your resilience, for your focus. We thank you that in the midst of your pain, you do understand that this is our time to liberate our people, that we will never forget. We will never forget the brutality of this wicked enemy this barbaric enemy, this unrepentant occupier who has refused negotiations and chose the path of an unwinnable war. We tell La Republic that the statement of the 22nd of September will remain alive. We did a wonderful job as a people in 2017 to mentally liberate our people. Our people know who they are. They will never be Cameroonians. Never and never and never again. Our people are Southern Cameroonians. The dignity of our people is the one thing we are fighting for. We will never allow our people ever and ever and ever again not to achieve what they were destined to achieve. Our people will never and never and never again be taken as second class citizens, even in their own home country, in Ambazonia. They are given second pride of place for jobs. Never and never and never again. If anybody ever doubted the wickedness of this regime, just look around, just look around. There is blood everywhere. There is blood everywhere. When you talk to our wonderful restoration forces, these great freedom fighters, whom I salute on behalf of the entire government, who gave up their lives as a body shield to protect you, protect me, protect our communities and our properties. There is no finer in any generation than these. We thank you. We thank you so much for your sacrifices. I want some of you to just go back four years what were these poor young girls and boys and men and fathers doing? These were the best and the best and the best of citizens. Never heard a gun before. Never shot a gun before. Never slapped a man before. Never shot a man even with a stone or hit a man with a stick. To many of our people, they washed in so much pain as one neighbor after another was slaughtered. One brother after another was slaughtered. One sister after another was slaughtered. They could not take it any longer. And I want you only to hear me well. 
Our Prime Minister John Bute, do you hear me very well, La Republic's Prime Minister. This young man could not take it any longer. And then the wonderful song came up. Oh, mama, don't you worry. Oh, papa, don't you worry. Oh, sister, don't you worry. Oh, brother, don't you worry. Oh, sister, don't you worry. If I happen to die in the battlefield, don't you worry, we shall meet again. Oh, Father, don't you worry. Oh, sister, don't you worry. Oh, mother, don't you worry. If I happen to die in the battlefield, don't you worry, we shall meet again. I cannot forget how I felt when I listened to this song the first time. I felt pain. I felt so much pain. Because I've always known that nobody has a right to take the life of another person. I've always known that God is the creator of life. And no one has a right to kill any other person. It's worst when the innocent of the most innocent are slaughtered like chicken. When La Republic moves into an area, the Moyoka massacre, the Inkata massacre, the Manu massacre, the Bali massacre, the Pingin massacre, the Batibo massacre, and they just spray bullets. They spray bullets everywhere, into houses, in everywhere, bushes and so on. Whoever is hit by a bullet, they don't care. They don't care. And it becomes so funny that a people, these barbarians called, yes, when they are slaughtered, they don't even have the courtesy, the decency to even go out and pretend and send messages of condolences to those communities. My people, we will never forget Gabu. And so on behalf of the interim government, I want to say this to Amazonians. You rather fight and die calmly than get killed on your knees as a sellout, as a betrayer. One of the worst things you can do to a liberation struggle like this is betray the people. We are fighting for 8 million Amazonians, those who know us and those who do not know us, those who support us and those who do not support us. Those who blackmail us and those who stand with us. Our fight is not discriminatory. As the leadership of this revolution, and here I'm referring to the collective leadership, the genuine leadership, the honest leadership, we feel the pain of every single Amazonian, wherever they are in the northern zone or the southern zone, in all of our counties and local governments. In all of our diaspora provinces, we feel the pain of our people. We know that not, no single Amazonian so far has not been touched by the brutality of Yaoundé. And we maintain that Yaoundé will never defeat Amazonia at war. They will never defeat us at war because, one, the war is senseless. Two, Yaoundé is wrong. We are right. Three, it is our territory, our land, and our country. And Yaoundé will never kill everybody, so they can never take Amazonia. And for legality and law are on our side. So Yaoundé should stop wasting time. It doesn't matter how many years they continue this insanity. We can assure Yaoundé that the Lord has put wonderful civilian and restoration leaders at our disposal. They will never give up. 
I remember very well while I was Skakov spokesperson, several international bodies would interview me and they would ask, on whose behalf are you people talking? And we told them, we are talking on behalf of 8 million people. And they asked us, show proof. The good Lord showed them proof. On the 22nd of September, the question was answered. On the 22nd of September, 2017, the people of Ambazonia answered the question. They answered the determination to be free, for their dignity to be given back. On the 22nd of September, the people of Ambazonia carrying Kung, in Kung, peace plan. They told Yaoundé and the world, that thank you and thank you and thank you again. We have lived together. We have tried like we tried in Nigeria and it has not worked. Our leaders have told you, let my people go. We have come out to confirm that our leaders speak on our behalf. So the 22nd of September is fast approaching. The interim government would like to thank and, and thank very immensely all leaders in all revolution, revolutionary structures who are pioneering the celebration of the 22nd of September. Sisikwa Yoktabe Day, Takumbang Day. It will always be a very historic day owned by the Takumbangs after the call of our leader. A call that came in a dream, we all know that story. We have seen the messages circulated by a different women's group, by Skaul, Skew, Skew, and of course, the Southern Cameroon American Women's Formation. We want to thank them. We want to celebrate them for their sacrifices. We want to ask them never, never, and never to give up. We want to call on all Amazonians on ground zero, based on their security situations. On ground two, based on their security situations. On ground one, and in the diaspora, to join our women and make sure that the celebration of the Takumbang Sisiko Ayokabe Day, the 22nd of September, this year becomes the best of the best. You, of course, know the traditional dressing of our women. It is white and red. We will be looking forward to listening to our women leaders speak to us, address us, speak on behalf of our people. We will be looking forward to supporting them in all the initiatives that they will be involved in. So fellow people, it, it is our day. We call it the day of our referendum. It is the day that we told the UN that the referendum of the 11th of February 1961 was definitely an illegal false referendum on our people. On the 22nd of September, our people came out unforced. And those images are there for the world to see. They cannot wipe them out. Dear people, the next celebration without doubt would be the first October celebration. So I'm here to say, if you have not bought a regalia before, make sure you go out, get yourself a very nice Ambazonian cap. I'm looking for one that has been launched by the SCBC store. It is called Ambazonia Land. I want it. I want to buy the T-shirt in store in the SCBC store. My dear people, last weekend, our tripartite leaders, Vice President Daphne Yerima of the interim government of the people of the Southern Cameroons, the president of the Ambazonian Governing Council, Commander-in-Chief Dr. Cho Ayaba, the leader of the consortium, the veritable Comrade John Ba Akuru, Launch this wonderful day, the day on which we were supposed to be a liberated people, 
like Swaziland, like Lesotho, like Namibia, like Botswana, like Luxembourg, like France, like Italy. It's amazing that Amazonia is bigger than more than 63 UN countries as we speak, not only by land size, but by population size. Because of the richness of our land, we were treated like chicken. Thank God. Liberation is not given, it is taken. Thank God our people have decided to take their liberation. I want to thank SCBC for having hosted the launch of the first October celebrations by our leaders. I want to call on members and supporters of the interim government, members and supporters of the Ambazonian Governing Council, the AGC, members and supporters of the consortium, members and supporters of the SCYL of the APLM, members and supporters of the Republic of Amazonia, members and supporters of the Southern Cameroon's National Congress, members and supporters of SCOP, of SCOWL, of SCU, and all other Amazonian formations that I have not mentioned. Look at my screen. Look at those images. This is the best. The best and the best of Amazonia. The one good thing in the liberation is that once we have made a declaration, we do not revoke it. Our responsibility as a people is to make our land, the Southern Cameroon's Amazonia, ungovernable. Ungovernable to the enemy, La Republic. This is evidence that our people flushed La Republic in the toilet. The war launched has brought so much pain. We cannot give up. We will not give up. We will never give up. Because we have the ability to win La Republic. For many reasons, La Republic has failed, is broke, is desperate, and that's why you see the kind of brutality coming from La Republic. That's why you see their military is very frustrated. That is why you see the military that cannot reach our boys. These great restoration fighters defending us, they now turn their attention to the free, unfortunate, armless civilians, boys, girls, mothers, and fathers. Never doubt the resolve of a determined people. America became America because Americans stood up and decided we must be free. And we have decided we must be free. So thank you, people. Let us make the celebrations of this year wonderful. I would like to thank the committee from the interim government and on all other revolutionary platforms that are working tirelessly to make sure that first October celebrations this year are really the best. Indeed, Ground Zero will see the best of the best in terms of the efforts that have been made. Now we call on those that God has blessed with substance. Please invest in our revolution. A week should not pass without you giving something to the revolution. A month should not pass without you investing money for your liberation. Our rest restoration forces need us. They are called on us, especially the United Front, like the AMF, to make periodic donations, weekly and monthly donations. Dak has come out and asked that you donate so that our restoration forces, refugees, our detainees can feel the love of the Amazonian people. AGOFC is running tough. Your interim government is running. The sales of bonds to free you. 
Amazonian freedom bonds, Amazonian defense bonds, Amazonian diplomatic bonds, and Amazonian humanitarian bonds. My dear people, so long as you're not a refugee, so long as you're not in jail, there is no reason why you should not have owned at least three bonds by now. The good news is, you don't need to pay all the money at once. You can begin by buying 1% of your bonds. Just pay $3, $2.50, $1. Begin by paying a 500 francs or 1,000 francs or 1 euro. And like our people say on the ground, molo, molo, before you notice, you will have one bond. I'm a proud holder of a number of bonds. I know that nobody will free me until I decide to free myself. I know that I need to sacrifice buying that new shirt. I need to sacrifice buying that bottle of whiskey. I need to sacrifice unnecessary holidays. And I need to put that money for the liberation of my people. In South Africa, the leadership has now decided that on a monthly basis, every single Amazonian Southern Korean living in South Africa will have to tick the register by paying a certain amount, an amount that every single Amazonian can pay. So my dear people, please support our liberation. Please invest in our liberation. The international community is on our side. Gone are the days when we said they were not on our side. They are on our side. The international community is waiting on you and they're waiting on me. There is a bridge we need to cross. And that bridge is locked in our ability to raise money. It is locked in our ability to realize that no single individual, no matter how brilliant and strong you are, no single group in this revolution, no matter how brilliant and strong you are, can liberate Amazonia. Our people call on us as leaders to get together. I continue to hear the cry of the conference of the people. I continue to hear the cry that the people need now more than ever before to sit down, whether face to face or on Zoom, and talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Talk about our strengths and our weaknesses. Come out of that meeting strong, rock, rock solid, with strategies and a final roadmap to liberate our people. My dear people, we all want Boya. We don't yet have Boya physically. So I speak on behalf of the interim government that let us put Ambazonia first. Let us put our nation first. Let us not allow our allegiance to the different movements we support, to the different leaders we support, distract us from why we are in this liberation struggle. Let me say this. No leader currently has real, absolute power that would allow you to use the resources of Ambazonia to change Ambazonia for the benefit of Ambazonians. Because we're not yet on the ground. So it would be correct to call us revolutionary leaders. The one thing I know about revolutionary leaders is that they are a humble people. Revolutionary leaders are a simple people. Revolutionary leaders are leaders who walk, who move, who eat, and who sleep with and amongst their people. Revolutionary leaders are leaders who do not 
take pride in Titus because they know that Titus will not liberate Amazonia. They know that our unity and our oneness will liberate Amazonia. It is for that reason that we celebrate the tripartite alliance between the interim government, the Ambazonian Governing Council, and the consortium. We know that the relationship is not perfect. We know that the relationship has challenges, but we equally know that we need to walk through those challenges together. So my dear people, supporters of the different entities I have mentioned, you need to put nation first. You need to project nation more. You need to project the flag more. You need to project our liberation more. And I'm going to give an example. If we push out La Republic, and when I say we, I'm referring to a group of Amazonians collectively out of Ndian, our oil rich county, out of Momo, out of Lebiele. It really doesn't matter who takes credit. All Amazonians become winners because we will have taught the enemy an indelible lesson. Do you feel me? If you raise funds, 100,000 US dollars, and you hail from Boyo, but you realize that our front line in Manu is suffering, our front line in Faco is suffering, and you deploy all the $100,000 into Faco O Manu, O Meme, O Menchum, O Mesam for that matter. And you equip our restoration forces to be able to defend our neighborhood. And La Republic knows that in those vicinities, they are. 200,000 well-equipped sticks and popcorns. They will never get into those vicinities. They will not. So my dear people, to those of you who have carried anger in the confusion that some have brought in this struggle, please come back home and begin to donate and lead your people to liberation. It is for that reason that I want to salute the Southern Cameroon's town hall leadership. I want to salute Comrade Dr. Fontaine and all those with him who gather our people bi-weekly and allow our people to speak man to man and no topic is off the record. That is a dream Amazonia we are building. An Ambazonia where every Ambazonian will be respected for their opinion, will be allowed to say whatever they want to say so long as that respects the basic tenets of humanity. There are many more groups in this revolution that we are certainly not aware of, but we know that they have come together for the good of Ambazonia. We know that on a daily basis, they sacrifice time and effort and intellect to push our revolution on the diplomatic front, on the human, humanitarian front. And I'm referring to the many humanitarian organizations like Mama Ambazonia, Dr. Bernadette, and the many others, you know, Electronic Food Bank and so on. We want to thank you. You are doing the right thing. You continue to let La Republic know that as a people, we are undefeated. So thank you. Thank you and thank you so much. My dear people, we are only able as a leadership to support our restoration forces, support the humanitarian arms within our struggle, support the diplomatic, support the communication arm within our struggle from your donations. Please donate so that we can liberate our people. 
the voice of the Amazonian people, SCBC, needs you. Without your donations, you will not be able to listen to me. You will not be able to listen to your vice president, to Comrade John Bakuru, to Comrade Cho Ayaba. You will not be able to listen to the wonderful Amazonians, Comrade JC, Comrade Eleanor, Comrade Silas, you know, Comrade Eric Tato, Comrade Mark Barretta, you know, Dr. David Makongo, and all of these wonderful people you listen to on a day-by-day -day and weekly basis. This channel, the SCBC, will remain as one of the greatest developments of our time, one of the greatest tools that help to liberate our people, because this channel, the SCBC, helped our people to be mentally liberated. It is with this channel that we got our people to stop watching SCBC. It is with this channel that we listen to wonderful lessons from the great of the greats, from Godi Dinka, Professor Karsin Anyangwe. It is from this channel that you, our people, notice that this is not a new fact, that the Mpamula and Jolly Tumbes, who will never die, continued fighting this fight over a long period of time, the Augustine Dangams and so on. So my dear people, SCBC needs your donation. We need each of you to make a commitment on a monthly basis to donate anything that you can donate. Let it be a fixed amount. That is your liberation donation towards communication. Just like you're doing towards our restoration forces, you are doing towards our political detainees, you are doing towards our refugees, our IDPs, and so on. It is the right thing to do. I say them proudly because I do them, and I call upon you to do the same. Donate to us SCB so that over the month of September, we can relieve the images of September 22nd, 2017, 2018, and 2019. We can relive the images of 1st October 2017, the day the Republic slaughtered more than 127 of our armless people using machine gun ships, buried many in containers, threw many alive in in the ocean, just like many of our people are killed and thrown in, in rivers today. This channel will make you relieve the images of 1st October 2018, 2019. My dear people, we will always celebrate September 22nd. We will always celebrate 1st October because these are days of astronomical proportion to all Amazonians including those that unfortunately still work with La Republic, will, unwillingly so, but know in the heart, in the heart of hearts, that it is the right thing for us to liberate our people. I want to, on behalf of our leadership, thank all Amazonians, all Amazonians who are still working in La Republic, as economic refugees, but are doing their best to liberate our people. I want to thank all Amazonians who have conquered fear and have decided to live the spirit of General Ivo, General Amigo, and all other great fighters, civilians and restoration forces to ensure that one day Ambazonia becomes a free country like America, like Britain, and like France. I want to salute all chiefs, all funds, all our traditional leaders who have chosen to stay with their people and not the enemy, who have chosen to speak for their people and not the enemy, who have chosen to ensure that they stand with our people until Liberation Day. You are doing the right thing. The enemy will never give you. 
Even if they kill you, they will not kill the spirit of our revolution. I want to equally thank those that strategically do what you will call prefer neutrality and support the enemy. You cannot leave your people and go stay in the enemy territory. Atanganji says, funds and chiefs who betray their people should return to their palaces. We want to tell these fathers, these brothers of ours, that you could only run away from your palace because you betrayed your people. If you come back to your palace while you are still a betrayer, we fear for your life. So we ask you to repent. We ask you to use the kingmakers and make peace. You have to declare you stand for the liberation of our people. You have to declare you stand for a one and undivided Amazonia. You have to declare you stand for the liberation of our people. That is the only thing known that allows you to stay in peace amongst our people. We will never and never and never allow La Republic proxy forces ever and ever and ever again in our midst. We will never forget Ngabu. We will never and never forget Moyoka. We will never forget Bali. We will never forget Pingin. We will never forget Widikum. We will never forget Menchum. We will never forget Boyo. We will never forget the calamity you carried out in Fako and you continue to do it today. In Meme, in Lebiele, in Kupe Maningoba, in Dian, in Manu. We will never and never forget. In Gokutunja, we will never forget. So, my dear people, we have a responsibility to be each other's keeper. Let nobody fool you. We are winning La Republic and we are winning big. Our liberation is assured. If you never want the military to march freely into the neighborhood, terrorize our people, burn down our people in their houses, shoot our people at rampant, you must vomit La Republic once and for all. If you never want to be in the market like our people in Bermenda and suddenly see a brutal military march in and you begin to wonder if tomorrow will meet you, I am telling you on behalf of our people now that the only thing you must do is flush La Republic and flush them for good. If you never want to be in a situation like our people in Boya and Kumba, where terrorist enemies living amongst us will seal your shops and prevent you from selling so that you can make money to feed your children, will force you to go out on Monday, a day we hold so holy, so that under their guns you find your own liberation. The message on the wall is very clear. Vomit La Republic the enemy. Vomit La Republic the occupier. Vomit La Republic the parasite. We are very rich, richer than La Republic and richer than so many countries in the world. God bless us with so many natural resources, gold, diamond, oil, cocoa, mbanga, and many other agricultural products, timber, and you name the rest. Above all, we were pushed out of our country because every single Amazonian who went through school, got an advanced level, got a degree, suddenly realized that you were a foreigner in your own country. I remember as a boy, all we dreamed of was that one day I will leave this country so that I can have a decent job and support my family. I remember doing an analysis at some point, and every single classmate of mine from CPC Bali had left Cameroon, every single one without exception. So my dear people, 
We have suffered enough, and this never again generation has decided it is enough. So as I conclude, I would like to thank Ground Zero. I'd like to thank our people on Ground Zero, in every single house, in every single community. I want to salute them for their determination and perseverance. My dear people, we feel your pain. We feel your daily pain, pain from insecurity, pain from the economic downturn, from La Republic's brutality. We feel your pain as, as our children do not go to school. Our children have lost almost four years of their own future. We feel your pain on a daily basis. You do not know if tomorrow will meet you. My dear people, do not be fooled. The solution to the freedom of your pain lies in our togetherness, in our continuous resistance to this enemy and occupier. My dear people, the solution to your pain lies in you supporting true leaders and true movements in this revolution. It lies in you searching for information and making sure that we stand with those that stand with us. We stand with those that speak for us. We stand with those that use our money for the right reasons. We stand with those that believe in our, in our liberation and will stop at nothing until we are liberated. My dear people, we will be liberated. To all Ambazonians in all detention centers, we are very sorry for your pain. We are very sorry for the unbelievable sacrifices you are paying for the liberation of our people. We are very sorry for the loss of income, the loss of family life. To many of you who are breadwinners, your families have completely been shattered. We ask you to stand strong. It will not be long again, we shall be free. You shall be free. South Africans did not believe that Nelson Mandela, Govan Becky, will be free someday. But one day they were free and their dreams became real as they led their country into what is modern day South Africa, a country respected all over Africa and the world. Ambazonia will not be different. To fellow Ambazonians in the diaspora who have stayed strong, focused, no matter the pain in the revolution, you have remained resilient, you have attended every single meeting on your different platforms. You have donated vigorously. You have stood behind the truth. You have defended the truth. You have supported our people on Ground Zero, our restoration forces, houses without food and water, our IDPs and refugees. The interim government of the people of Ambazonia said thank you. My dear people, September is a month of our resistance. It's a month for us to show love. It's a month for us to show our oneness and our togetherness. September is a month of our liberation, our month that we show the world. The images are there to remind us that we are gone and gone for good. Let us watch this and be inspired. Let us watch these images and be reminded let us watch these images so that they can remind us what each of us has as a re responsibility towards the liberation of our people. My dear people, the Southern Cameroons will be free. Ambazonia will be free. Our land will be free. Our people will be free. And we as a people will make Ambazonia great again. Watch this space as we come. Myself and the different leaders we have in this struggle, different spokesperson and activists to give you directives on exactly what contributions you can make towards fast tracking our liberation, towards making September 22nd a wonderful day, and towards making 1st October a day never to forget. Remember, we will never forget the brutality of La Republic. 
we will always remember how they killed innocent people, innocent children, burnt our people and children in their houses, burnt our grandmothers and fathers, burnt and killed disabled people, pushed our people out of their houses, arrested, kidnapped innocent people who are still wandering in their jailhouses today. We will never forget. It is total independence or resistance or ever. Stay focused, stay strong. God bless Ambazonia. Short live the struggle and God bless you. Making you a name